I'll be honest with you. He has the best JoJo fits, but I feel like he's a one-trick pony at this point. All right, Hassan. Fine. I'll improve it. I'll make my own suit. You see, I've been obsessed with these things called JoJo suits now. Well, for quite a while. Everybody knows that I am obsessed with them and I wear them for every single occasion. Luckily for me, a little while back, I did a live stream where I met a gentleman called TK. Now, TK is a fashion designer who's been designing collections at Glam, a fashion brand in Japan, for 12 years. And they've collaborated with some of the biggest animes that we all know and love, like Chainsaw Man, Naruto, and of course, JoJo. And so I cheekily asked TK if Glam might be interested in collaborating with me, uh, nobody, to make a lovely, amazing suit. And to my surprise, he said yeah. And luckily for me, just the occasion was coming up around the corner. You see, the Stream Rewards is an event every year that's held with millions of live viewers, and I wanted to make sure that as many people possible saw my suit without realizing it. Because if I can make a suit that looks so good in this setting with all the rich streamers and all their amazingly expensive outfits, then I must be doing something right. So I had just one month to get this suit designed, and then made. And the best part about this journey to making a custom suit is that you can actually get it yourself too. And I know that suits aren't for everybody, so we have designed some other cool stuff that you can also pick up. But how do we get here? Let me tell you all about the journey of how I made my very own suit. The first thing that I decided was that I want to make sure that even if you don't watch this YouTube channel or you're not a weeb or anything like that, that you can still appreciate this suit for the beautifulness that it is. That means writing my name all over it in big is ugly and it's got to go or any kind of giant cartoon design. We're not going to have that. We're going to try and keep it as sleek and professional as possible while adding some neat little references in that you guys will get to see later. Because when you're wearing it, I want you to feel as hot as you are whilst having a few little nods to this video and my content creation journey. I also knew pretty early on that I wanted to go for a double-breasted design, just because to me, I think it looks a little classier than the normal suit. And after going through all the materials, I decided on a bit of a navy color. Next up, we had to decide the inside of the suit. This is where we can kind of get crazy with the customization, because the inside of the suit isn't going to be seen as often, so we can add a few more references. The next aspect of the suit that I totally forgot about, and I feel like most of us do, were the buttons. And TK had this giant button collection for me to review. And after a bit of back and forth with TK, Okay, we decided on these nice big plastic buttons. I just hate it when I wear a suit that has tiny little buttons and I'm fiddling trying to get the buttons through the hole. I just want big buttons that look nice, classic, and feel great. Some of the obvious references that we decided to throw in for you guys out there is that in the inside of the suit, we had G and C for Glam and Connor. And on the sleeve, we decided to add some little purple stitching around one of the buttons as a nod to trash taste, as well as some other hidden references that I won't spoil for you guys. And although the suit is the main focus of the collection, that isn't the only item we're making for it. Now, one thing you need to know about TK. TK doesn't like doing the ordinary things. TK wanted to make a t-shirt that was embossed and kind of had a really unique texture to it that pops out, similar to how this Apple one looks here. You can see it's got like, it's, it's like a mountain. That's cool. He also wanted to make a design that would only show up on a camera flash. So he proposed making a combination of these two t-shirts that involved banana, as is an to monkeys, as well as a secret design that only shows up with a flash more monkeys. And although this is highly unusual and very unlike other YouTuber merch, I was down. TK also had this rather unusual idea of making monkey shoes. I told him that this is a terrible idea and people will not buy these, to which TK responded, I don't care, it looks cool though. And after hearing that, I was kind of like, that's pretty, that's pretty badass. Okay, well, let, let's make the monkey shoes. What I failed to appreciate was the intricacies of these monkey shoes, as TK invited me to a shoe factory in Japan where a small family-owned business would make these shoes themselves. So let's go to the factory and see how they're made. Today on How It's Made. Monkey Shoes. You know, it smells like yeah, it does. chemicals, you know? <laughs> Lovely. If there's an earthquake, does everything just... It will be dead. <laughs> it will be dead. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. So this is a cutting board. Okay, wow. Uh, pattern. It's a laser cut. This is a very tight. This is tight. very, like very <laughs> small. And also, everything is so compact. As a first step, this gentleman glues a support to the upper part of the shoe. Next up, they're steaming it to make it more malleable so they can mold it. It doesn't look very impressive. It looks like it's just chilling in there, like an alcove. It's like getting in the Ava. <laughs> Shinji, get in the shoe. <laughs> this next process basically forms the shape of the shoe. So this machine kind of crushes the heel around and forms the shape. 
makes it really shallow so when you add a sole it's all very tightly compact and this one is a pocket inside <laughs> why do you need a pocket inside is that you just thought it'd be fun yeah okay <laughs> fair like enough a key or you know okay. you'll, you'll never lose anything sure I, I i mean did you ever put money in your sock as uh -huh. a kid yeah yeah that would have been nice especially when you travel yeah it's true. helpful True. You can smuggle stuff with it. Yeah. <laughs> the smell is quite intense. Yeah. You have to get used to it pretty quickly, I'm guessing. <laughs> he must taste high yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next up, they're preparing the shoe for the sole. So this is the... What it's going to look like when yeah, they look put the after. sole and yeah. then put another layer on. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Put this black thing on and then wrap this around. And that's yeah. how it is right now. We did double sole. So one sole is done. Oh, okay. Another one coming up. What, what is the purpose of double sole? Like, is it's that chunkier okay. and taller. I can find I like maybe it, six I like foot. The I can yeah, be yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you ever had a situation where you've designed something and they make it, you're like, I want to change something yeah, last all minute. The time. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> you've got like 500 of them. You're like, oh, can we, can we do it? Yeah. And now they add the double sole for that extra swagger. Damn, we have a monkey shoe just like that. That wasn't too, too long at all. Can't wait to, for you guys to get your hands on it as well and feel the quality that is in my hands, and you can become the monkey of your dreams, just like me. Thank you for making it happen, TK. <laughs> and we finally received the suit one day before I have to go to LA to host the red carpet, which meant that I was also trying it on in the shoe factory. <laughs> monkey shoes. These are literally just monkey shoes. Wow, why are they so high quality? <laughs> They're like actually amazing quality. You'd wear this outside? Oh yeah. <laughs> you could wear this outside. I'd look like a psychopath. <laughs> I'd look crazy. Yeah. Wear them with the suit. All right. Nice. See, like I like how baggy it is. I gotta change my socks though. My socks don't don't suit it. I got like nice. Yeah, like banana socks. You know? <laughs> All right, it's next on the list, dude. That's so classy. Yeah. How's it look? Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah. Dude, this feels amazing. Okay, I gotta get the pants on. I gotta yeah. strip now. <laughs> Well, how, how does this always happen? On YouTube, I always end up stripping in front of people <laughs> or in the camera for whatever reason. I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's good. See the purple buttonhole right here. Oh, we got it there too? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Zooming in your butt here. Hey, it's a normal day at the office. <laughs> the dump shot. Oh my God, dude, thank you, man. Yeah. This is so cool. Dude. This turned out so good well. Idea. This looks great. I think we went for the right style as well. You think it works? Uh -huh. The monkey shoes in the suit? Yeah. You think? <laughs> insane. Everyone's gonna think, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Monkey shoes, trust me, trust me guys. And one part you might forget about making clothes is that somebody needs to model them. And unfortunately for Glam, their model is me. We also got a chance to ask TK a few more questions about working for the fashion brand. How did you get into doing fashion? I think when I wanted to be a designer, I was like 18. I just wanted to make my own clothes, you know? Like no? what, what made you want to feel? Like, Cause like I, when I went shopping, there was nothing that interested me. So like, oh, oh I had to make my own like <laughs> that's, that's exactly, you know? <laughs> fashion school in Canada. Actually, after that, I just came back to Japan yeah. and then here. Damn, that's great. For twelve years. Did you did you speak any English before you went to Canada or? No, but my English is pretty good, right? Your English is great. <laughs> and so after all the testing was done, it was time to take some nice suit pictures. Well, with the help of TK, I learned how to pose a little bit because I I, I, I don't know how to. And if you want to see how the photos turned out for the suit, make sure to go to that link in the description down below to go and check out the suit. Okay, so take off your tie. I got it, yeah. Whatever you tell me to do, I'll take everything off. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take off the shirt, slowly. <laughs> take off your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we'd completed the suit pictures, it was time to model the rest of the merch. And TK figured, because I like gaming, that we should do a gamer theme setup. But I got the chance to ask TK some more questions about clothing. How do you learn to become fashionable? I keep getting told it's confidence. Is that true? It, it is true, yeah. It's not like you, you just wear whatever you want to wear, but like you have to know what's cool and what's not. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you decide what's cool though, right? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite bracelet goes on you. Really? Remember this? 
When you came to Glam, yeah. I showed you this Maro bracelet or necklace. This is from my dream. I don't do much in my dreams, actually. No? It's normally you not, don't not, game not, in your <laughs> <laughs> I don't game in my dreams. <laughs> Maybe I do, I don't know. And so the shoot got progressively more gamer. From me wearing earphones to me faking using a PlayStation controller. Ah, yes, very gamer. One thing I was going to ask you is that uh, I, I don't know how you go from wanting to make clothes to people buying the clothes you yeah, make. Yeah, that's I, the hardest part. Did you just open a store and hope? Like you were like, I just hope customers buy and show up. Oh, it's actually uh, Glam. Mm. It's not made by me. It's yeah. a, there's another guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to be a designer like yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And he opened that. And then I'm the second generation. I right? didn't really have like experiences, you know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden <laughs> like, like, I'm like on it. my own. Like, Did it go well when yeah. you first started? <laughs> yeah. It went really well? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I, I'm like, damn, was that hard? You're like, nah. <laughs> Following that yapathon, we continued with the photos where I got my picture taken like a beautiful French girl. It's not bad, is it? It's a sleeve. Obviously, I'm a natural at this. And finally, TK wanted me to look as cool and bad boy as possible. Poor TK doesn't know that I I, I can't pull this look off. But hey, I'm going to try for the photos and for TK. Do it for him. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. But right before we parted ways, I got the chance to ask TK a few more questions. How long have you been doing this for? 12 years. Long time? Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. You, you look really young. Really? Yeah. How, how old do you think I am? I, th I thought you were like 30. Oh, th 20. I'm 50. No, you're not. I'm kidding. Oh <laughs> my, <laughs> what the, what the <laughs> f TK? Wait, how old are you then? 36. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. See, I, yeah, I feel like early, 50. You <laughs> Thank you for trolling me, TK. Now that you're done with that, I'd love to know how you came up with the designs for the t-shirts. I guess it just comes, it's just my style. Like I can't, yeah. even if I want to, I can't change it, you know? <laughs> you make, it's just my make, style. Makes it sound like it's a force of nature, like a yeah, tornado. Yeah, it is, it you're, just you're comes saying. to me. <laughs> I also wanted to know a bit more about the suit. We call it pattern making. Yeah. So you, you shape it or lengthwise, you kind of like add or do less mm -hmm. of like your sleeves and stuff. Yeah. And it's made for you, like it's fit for your body shape, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I think it looked really nice on you. I'm very happy yeah. with it. And I'm, I'm stoked, hopefully people yeah. like it at home too. And honestly, like usually, like the fit is me. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the uh. designs I do for glam is, like I put them on yeah. and then I adjust the sizing for oh, okay. me, okay. you know? Okay. So it, it's pretty much like very first time, but like mm. pretty much first time. That I do like the fit for somebody else, you know. Oh. So the suit is not for my fit, you know what oh, I mean? Okay, it's okay, for okay. you. Thank so. you, thank you. I appreciate yeah. you doing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I had to ask a bit more about the shoes. When you showed me this, <laughs> I told you these are insane and no one's gonna buy these. Yeah. And you said, you said, yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, I've made thousands of t-shirts, you know. Yeah, yeah. And hoodies and stuff. I wanted to blow up your mind. Okay. So <laughs> if I show this, Connor is gonna be like, oh. Wow, like, what are you doing? You yeah, know, like, I, like, I wanted to I surprise you, you. I need to find the right occasion. Or maybe you, I feel like you can just rock these. Yeah, anywhere. I need to learn how to get that mentality because mm -hmm. I'm really bad at seeing something like this and thinking, oh, I can wear that every day. I could wear this to a job interview. <laughs> Would you get the job? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully the, the interviewer is gonna be like, oh, the monkey shoe guy, you know? I think they, must, yeah. they would definitely remember yeah. you as that. And finally, I had to ask about the banana tea with the invisible print on it. Again, like, I just don't wanna do something that people can expect. Okay, okay. So, I wanted to surprise them, I guess. Yeah. Even, I think it's crazy, like, who could come out with a, a print that doesn't even show in yeah. normal <laughs> time, you know? Like, I yeah. took so much time to do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, draw, but still it's invisible. Like, it's kind of a people waste aren't gonna of time. See it. Yeah, people aren't gonna but see it. But <laughs> then you take a photo at nighttime with the flash on, and mm. people will be like, whoa. It was really cool. The first time you showed yeah. me, I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. And the, the textured banana, like, that's such a cool yeah. idea. And it came out so well. Like, banana I, I, peel, so it has to be 3D, you know? I don't see a t-shirt as like a canvas, yeah. you know? It's more to that, so, that's so it's not just a, something that I draw on, you yeah, know? Yeah. So it has to be a bit different. Finally, I asked TK if he had anything to say about the overall designs. All the designs are not like a basic. It has the gel print yeah. and the banana peel and the yeah. ninja print. Everything has a little bit extra yeah. that 
people would be like surprised about. Yeah. So it's not just like what you see、uh, on a photo、mm -hmm. on the website. It's different when you actually purchase it, hold it,、yeah. feel it.、Yeah. It's、uh, another experience, you know. It definitely felt like that when I tried the、yeah. stuff on. I was like, oh wow, this is really different to to looking at、mm -hmm. it. But I mean, thank you for letting me.、Uh, Take over your operation.、Uh -huh. You're making me some crazy、yeah. things.、It's、I feel、cool. like it opened up my mind to a, another, like another door、oh, to、yeah. my <laughs> design. Oh, that's you know? so sweet! Wow. Because if you didn't like monkeys, or you know, if your、yeah. theme was not like a banana or yeah, a monkey, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have designed these. So I'm to blame. <laughs> it's my fault.、Uh, but no, thank you so much. I yeah, really appreciate it. I don't, I don't really have anything else to ask. I mean, I'll let the the clothes speak for itself.、Right. So thanks,、yeah. man.、I've、I think it's a, all good. It's、yeah. been so much fun, man.、Yeah. It's been so much fun. I'll leave you to it. I'll, I'll scooch.、Right. I'll scooch out of your way. I'll leave you to making good clothes. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've made it all the way to LA, and tomorrow is the big day where I finally get to wear the custom suit that you can also pick up as well. I'm hoping that it goes smoothly and I do a good job,、uh, and that I get many compliments on my suit, and that people will say it's fitted very nicely. It looks really good. But what they won't know the whole time is that it's my suit. Anyway, wish me luck. Let's hope it goes well tomorrow. Yeah, we're rivals today, Connor. Lovers to rivals, friends to lovers to rivals. Back to lovers, back to friends. And if you'll allow me to be candid for a moment,、uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. This video and sitting throughout all of it and watching this journey, this has been a crazy process for me, a very stressful one as well, but really fulfilling. As you know, I I don't really do merch. I haven't done merch on this channel in like six or seven years, and the last time I did do merch, it was so so awful. It was like some overpriced print to order stuff. It was it was just really not the best. And I'm really glad that I can finally release some clothes that are really personal and really high quality with a brand that I I really want to support here in Japan. And it's only available for the next two weeks. So if you want to grab it, smash that link in the. Down below right now. This is the last chance to ever get something like this. I have no idea if I'll ever do this ever again. I am aware that it is quite expensive for a collection,、uh, and I do apologize to those of you who can't pick it up. It does break my heart that not everyone has the opportunity to get all these clothes just because of how expensive they are. But I hope you can appreciate that this is a once in a lifetime collection and just a really cool opportunity. And I hope to those of you who get your own suit, please send me pictures. Please, if you buy anything from this collection, please send me pictures. I want to like and appreciate it. And if you wear this suit, if I see you wear. Soon you come up to me, I'm gonna give you the biggest, fattest hug and high five of all time. So please, if you do get this collection and you love it, please let me know. I'm excited to see other people out there in the wild wearing the Sea Dog suit. I'm just so pumped about it. And in two weeks' time, we're gonna be doing a cyclothon across Japan for 14 days straight. So make sure to go over my Twitch and check that out. And a massive thank you to Glam for partnering up with me on this video. It's it's an absolutely crazy idea, and I'm really happy that I did it with them. And to you guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.